Hey friends, Ash here with Chinsense. Hope you're doing really well and welcome to yet another episode of This Week in Fragrance where I talk to you guys about upcoming fragrance releases. We've got four different fragrances to talk about today including a new cool water. Again, I just did a new cool water on the last video but there's another one. Along with a new fragrance in the Azaro Wanted line and a couple of summer flankers in some fairly unknown fragrance lines. And today's video is brought to you guys by FragranceUSA.com. I've got a link in the description to their website. Make sure to check them out if you're looking for a niche fragrance or a designer fragrance and you wanna save some money. They also have great customer service, great shipping speed, and even better, you can save 15% off of any order on the website by using the code GENT15. So again, shout out to Fragrance USA. Let's jump into it. Let's check these out. First off, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about that new Cool Water. Yeah, Davidoff Cool Water Parfum. So we had Cool Water Intense, we had Cool Water Aquaman, Cool Water Street Fighter Champion Edition, and now Cool Water Parfum. Then of course they've always got those summer flankers as well, which everybody loves, am I right? Cool Water Parfum. Discover the sophisticated freshness of the sea. A reinterpretation of the iconic cool water fragrance with one of the most ethical ingredients in perfumery, vetiver. This tropical plant is harvested by a community on the island of Haiti as part of a sustainable sourcing partnership. The perfume develops with woody notes of sandalwood combined with pink pepper. That's it, that's the write-up. That's what we got so far. So we've got a, a cool water here with three notes. Pink pepper, vetiver, and sandalwood. And that's it, at least as far as what we know so far. And that's uh, interesting. There's a lot missing from the note breakdown in the original Cool Water, which this does say it's a reinterpretation of the original Cool Water. One thing you'll notice with that very simplified note breakdown, which I've said this a bunch of times, but a lot of brands are kind of going toward this very simple note breakdown with one note in the top, one note in the mid, one note in the base, and then that's all they give you. But this is missing lavender, it's missing mint, it's missing uh, sea notes, aquatic notes, watery notes, whatever you want to call it from the original. It's missing green notes, it's missing musk. There's a, a lot missing. <laughs> Now, obviously, I'm not expecting it to be the exact same. I'm not expecting them to say, hey, here's Cool Water Parfum with the exact same note breakdown, and it's gonna smell the exact same as the original Cool Water, only more refined. Uh, it seems to be what happens a lot of times. You get an Eau de Parfum, and you're like, hey, this is uh, more refined. I feel like a little bit deeper. Yeah, deeper. But with this, it's just uh, woody notes and then a fresh spice. So where's the, where's the water in the Cool Water? I don't know. I guess we'll see when this comes out and more people can get their hands on it. Hopefully it's good, you know, it could be really nice. I'm, I'm definitely not, you know, slamming it here and saying it's gonna be a complete failure or anything like that. I just think the note breakdown with how simplified it is leaves a lot of question marks up in the air as to how close this will be to Cool Water or if this is just gonna be kind of uh, something different but with the Cool Water name put on it. Of course though, huge fan of Vetiver, so. No complaints. Next up, a really quick rundown on the new Jill Sanders Sun Men fragrance, which is called Sun Men Lavender and Vetiver. Now, I don't even know why I like the bottle so much in the Jill Sanders Sun Men line, but I do. They're thin, they're big and blocky, they don't really fit very well in your hand. For all intents and purposes, they actually kind of suck <laughs> as far as holding them, and yet, I love them. This one has a really simple note breakdown. Lavender and rosemary in the top. You got eucalyptus in the mid, vetiver in the base. That's it, once again, super simple. So with this one, obviously it's called lavender and vetiver. My expectation with this being a summertime fragrance is that the lavender would give it a kind of a sweet, fresh open with a slight green tinge from the rosemary and as it dries down, it would be a vetiver more along the lines of like a Haitian vetiver where it's going to be a little bit brighter a little bit cleaner, not really as smoky. And people are gonna be drawn to that eucalyptus in the mid. 
So that's gonna be kind of a wild card. You know, when you spray this on, is it really mentholated smelling or is the eucalyptus more for show and not really so much for go? The Jill Sanders Sun Men line is actually pretty affordable, typically, once it hits discounters and eBay and places like that. So I'll be on the lookout for this one. I do want it. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be something a ton of people want, but me personally, I'm hoping it's good. All right, let's get to the big one. Azaro, the most wanted. The newest flanker in the wanted line. And I'm just gonna throw this out there. I'm, I'm gonna give this to Azaro. You can take it, you can run with it. The next flanker, you can call it this. Azaro, wanted, dead or alive. Come on. How have you not come up with this yet, Azaro? Wanted, dead or alive. Come on, man. The most wanted? No, dead or alive. And I know they're probably thinking to themselves, nah, I don't think people wanna hear dead in their fragrance. They do, they do, absolutely. You heard it here first. Everyone that sees that is going to immediately think of the Bon Jovi song, and they're gonna be like, I hate that song, but I'm gonna buy the fragrance. Or, I love that song, I'm gonna buy the fragrance. Yeah, actually, I'm not sure that that's what would happen at all. But Azaro, still take that. Run with it, dead or alive. Okay, here's the write-up for the most wanted. Life is a game, but are you ready to play and live intensely with Azaro, the most wanted? Starting to get a little jigsaw there. Are you ready to play a game? The perfume of this man invites the wearer to always take on more challenges, to look for new experiences, and to be more daring than ever to break the rules. It is the supreme weapon of seduction that presents the irresistible charisma of a man desired by all. Nice. More playful than ever, the most desired man never stops playing. In fact, quite the opposite. This intense perfume for men is based on captivating ingredients that reveal a magnetic and sophisticated perfume. The combination of cardamom, a combination of melting caramel and amberwood gives this intense perfume an irresistibly sensual olfactory signature. Finally, this iconic barrel-shaped perfume bottle features a deep matte black for assertive masculinity. There's the write-up for you guys. If you want to assert your masculinity, you need a matte black bottle, confirmed by Azaro. That's what Herrera did too with Bad Boy Le Parfum. They wanted to assert dominance and they did so with a matte black finish. So that is the new thing. Asserting dominance means matte black. That means Womo's signature was asserting dominance long before these guys. So that note breakdown, once again, ultra simple. Top, cardamom, mid, toffee, base, amberwood. That's it, that's all you got. So this one obviously going to be kind of a sexy, sweet date night kind of fragrance, night out kind of fragrance. I would imagine, assuming they pull it off correctly, it'll be a big compliment puller, which means lots of guys are gonna wanna get their nose on this one. You got cardamom in the top, and the way that I imagine it's gonna come across here is going to be more of that really sweet, spicy side of cardamom instead of like a fresh green cardamom. You've got toffee slash caramel in here. Looks like it's gonna have kind of a gourmand edge and then amber wood makes sense. Really modern kind of dry down is what I would imagine this one would have with the amber wood, which is used most prominently or probably most immediately recognizably in Y Eau de Parfum. So there we go, Azaro the most wanted should be coming out pretty soon. Seems like it's gonna be a fall, winter time kind of fragrance and they're putting it out <laughs> as we head into spring, but whatever, do your thing, Azaro, go for it. And this last one is just super random. I wanted to talk about it anyway. Anayake Shoku for him. I believe Shoku means eclipse. If I'm wrong about that, whatever, flame me in the comments. This one's got a top of lemon, bergamot, nectarine, and rum a mid of mint, marine notes, pepper, and grass, and a base of sandalwood, vetiver, amber, and benzoin. So this one has kind of an interesting note breakdown to me because it's got nectar in, which you don't see used all that often, and rum in the top. It's really interesting because this appears to be obviously more of a summer fragrance. You've got mint, marine notes, lemon, bergamot, and, and grass as well, which is pretty cool. <laughs> it has a random green note thrown in there, but I like how this one doesn't come across, at least no breakdown wise, super generic. It's like they're doing a little bit of something different. Now, from the house, I don't know that the quality is gonna be there. I don't know that. So it could just be a sloppy freaking mess of a fragrance, but I still wanna check this one out. I love the packaging, really like the note breakdown. It seems interesting. So I'm gonna try to get this one. 
Assuming I find this at a store, I'm gonna try to pick it up online, whatever. And uh, hopefully it's good. But uh, I gotta tell you guys, I don't have a lot of faith, if I'm honest. But the note breakdown has me intrigued. So there we go, four new fragrances. I would imagine 90 plus percent of you out there of those four are looking most forward to the new Azaro. Again, a shout out to Fragrance USA for sponsoring the video. Link in the description, Gent15, save yourself 15% off. That's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.